One of the major problems in selling your home and moving anywhere in California is a massive increase in property taxes that comes with this transition. Proposition 19 could make that a reality for many homeowners. Hi there, if you're new to the channel, I'm Jeet, a realtor based in Gilroy, California. Today I want to talk about something that's incredibly important for homeowners in California. Proposition 19. If you're planning to sell your current home and buy a new one, understanding this law can help you save a lot of money on your property taxes. So without further ado, let's get started. What is Proposition 19? Proposition 19, which was passed by California voters in November 2020, is particularly designed to provide property tax relief to certain homeowners. With this law, if you're an eligible homeowner, you can transfer your property tax base from your existing home to a new one anywhere in the state. Most importantly, you can maintain your lower property tax rate even if you move to a more expensive property. This is an amazing law for many, especially seniors, people with disabilities, and victims of natural disasters. Before Prop 19, there were two key laws, Proposition 13 and Proposition 58. Proposition 13, enacted in 1978, limited property tax rates to 1% of the assessed value and capped annual increases at 2% unless the property was sold or newly constructed. Proposition 58 allowed parents to transfer their primary residence to their children without a reassessment of property taxes keeping the tax base the same. When Proposition 19 came into practice, it modified these rules, offering more flexibility for homeowners to move without facing significant tax increases. However, it also changes how inherited properties are taxed, which has sparked some controversy. Now, to take advantage of the benefits under Proposition 19, homeowners must meet specific criteria. Homeowners must be 55 years or older, severely disabled or victims of wildfires or other natural disasters. Both the original and the replacement property must qualify. The replacement property can be equal or lesser value, or if more expensive, the difference will be partially reassessed. The transaction must occur within two years of selling the original property. Here's how the tax calculations work under Proposition 19. If your new home is equal or lesser value than your old one, your property tax base remains the same. However, if your new home is more expensive, the difference in value will be added to your original tax base. For example, if you sell your home for $500,000 and buy a new home for $700,000, the $200,000 difference will be added to your original tax base. This results in a partial reassessment, leading to some increase in your property taxes but still much lower than if the entire new property were assessed at the current market value. For eligible homeowners, particularly seniors or those with disabilities, this law means they can move to a new home without a substantial increase in property taxes. You can now move anywhere within California and retain your lower tax rate, giving you more options when choosing a new home. Those who have lost their homes to wildfires or other natural disasters can rebuild or move without facing hefty tax increases. By removing the financial penalties associated with moving, Proposition 19 encourages seniors to downsize or relocate potentially freeing up housing for younger families and helping alleviate housing shortages. And that's not all. Proposition 19 provides peace of mind for seniors and disabled individuals knowing that they can relocate to a new home that better suits their needs without the burden of higher tax bill can significantly reduce stress. This flexibility is particularly beneficial for those looking to move closer to family or to communities with better health care and support services. The law also supports the broader housing market by increasing the availability of homes as seniors who may have stayed put due to tax concerns can now move more freely. This can help balance supply and demand potentially stabilizing home prices in some areas. Another benefit is that Proposition 19 generates additional revenue for local governments and fire protection services. The partial reassessment on more expensive replacement properties and changes to inheritance rules means more funds are available for essential public services, benefiting the community at large. But with all these benefits, there are a few drawbacks as well surrounding Proposition 19 particularly if we talk about its impact on inherited properties. Basically, under the old rules, children could inherit their parents' homes without a reassessment of property taxes. Now, unless inherited property is used as the heir's primary residence, it will be reassessed at market value, leading to higher property taxes. The new rules can be complex and may require professional advice to navigate effectively. Let me give you examples of how taxation will work under Prop 19. I'll take a practical scenario. Mary, a 65-year-old homeowner, sells her home in San Jose for $800,000 and buys a new home in LA for $750,000. Under Prop 19, she can transfer her old property tax base to her new home, 
keeping her tax rate the same as her new home is of lesser value. Similarly, John, a disabled homeowner, sells his home in San Francisco for $1 million and buys a new home in Sacramento for $1.2 million. The $200,000 difference will be added to his original tax base. Although he will face a partial reassessment, his new property taxes will still be lower than if the entire new property were assessed at a market value. Now the benefits vary for different owners. Seniors looking to downsize or move closer to family can do so without the fear of increased property taxes. If there's someone with a disability, they can find homes better suited to their needs without the financial penalties. On the other hand, victims of wildfires or other natural disasters can relocate or rebuild without facing significant tax hikes. So while Proposition 19 offers significant benefits, but it's essential to understand both its advantages and its complexities. If you're considering selling or buying a home in California, understanding this law can help you make a good decision and potentially save you a lot of money. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or need personalized advice, feel free to reach out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on informative content. And if you're interested in learning more about other real estate tips or the best ways to maximize your property investments, check out my other videos. See you next time.